Hey everybody. I hate the whole what's in my bag stuff, but a lot of you have been messaging me saying, hey, what's in your kit now? And I actually finally settled on the three lenses uh, for myself. And, you know, some of it's maybe surprising, other not. But um, again, M11, just absolutely in love with this camera. I still come across those posts where people are saying, you know, is it worth it? No. Um, are the lenses worth it? No. <laughs> yeah, they are all worth it. Um, you know, there, there, there's something to be said for tradition and craftsmanship and, um, and that feeling because it's an art and I want to treat it as an art. Um, you know, I, I have jobs coming up that are, where I'm just like, uh, you know, another one of these kind of a thing. And with the Leica, I actually feel like I can do something different with them. Uh, you know, I was looking at the new, um, one of the new cameras coming out. I'm just not going to give brand names or anything like that. And, and the first, you know, the first couple of minutes, the, the YouTuber was, you know, looking over the camera and explaining how everything was plastic and the plastic doors and, um, that it was made in China and it was, and I'm, there's nothing wrong with it being made in China. Don't take the wrong impression that I'm saying that there. But, you know, it's a Japanese com company and they're even putting their some of their cameras out to China now um, for cheap, you know, because they can get it so much cheaper. Um, you know, is it going to be made cheaper? I don't know. But, you know, for all the plastic and everything they put on it and, you know, the, you know back in the day when they used to do it like this, it was this and now it's just, you know, Get as many cheap products on there as you can or cheap components to make the whole thing cheaper uh, more affordable and you know that brings you into that whole don't get attached to your equipment it's just a tool um and yeah i, I guess everybody is different with that myself you know i fall in love with my gear i especially lenses because you have to learn this gear you have to learn about your lenses um, what their limitations are what you can do with them so, you know, I look at it a different way. Um, you know, I, I don't want a disposable camera. I don't want disposable lenses. Um, and, and like I said, it's not for everybody. Uh, you know, some tools you need for the job you're doing. You know, uh, sports shooters need to be competitive. They need the tools. Like, you have to remember when we were growing up, we didn't have autofocus or anything like that. And we still had to shoot sports. It, it existed. Yes, you can shoot that with this, anything because you know we did it we did it daily um and we had to produce that being said um and getting back on track the m limit is it, it it is my dream camera um i can feel the craftsmanship in it i have no issue with paying for this equipment because it was hand built by people who deserve to be paid and in today's world in today's market what they can produce and the level they can produce it at, you're going to have to pay for it. Um, otherwise, they're going to, you know, machine manufacturing and just throwing stuff together and using cheap products. And I, I didn't want that. Um, you know, I, I presume this will be my last camera at my age. <laughs> I hope it will be. Um, and I'm happy with it. So, you know, for me, you know, the, the money I spent on this, the investment I made in it, um, and you have to remember, these lenses don't go down in price. There's very few of them that do. Um, these are an investment, and, and m most of the time, the money you spend, if you do sell it, which you know, I have no plans to, I hope to pass this on my children and grandchildren, um, they're worth a lot more than what you paid for it. So that being said, so the first lens is the 50. Um, Sumalux 1.4. Um, I was going in between the Sumacron because I love the weight and size of that. And the uh, 50 Apo was really on my radar because of the quality. Um, but then I said, you know, I want that artistic look every once in a while with the 1.4. And the 50 Sumalux um, stop down is just as sharp. The 1.4 gives you that Leica rendering that I love, um, the artistic rendering. Uh, so that's the lens I went with. Um, you know, it's a bit heavier, but a little bit bigger, but it's, it's not an issue. Um, 
The next one is the 28 millimeter Elmerit um, 2.8. My wide, like the 35, I love the Summicron. I did have it, I loved it, but I, I do too many events where I need that, just that extra space um, and the 35 just wasn't cutting it. So I tried the 28 Elmerit and absolutely love it. It's a little less expensive. Um, it's spectacular in its build and quality and size. Um, I very rarely use it with a hood. Um, I just have it on, I don't even know why I have it on here. I did an outside event, that's why I have it on here. Uh, but that's the whole lens, which is just spectacular. And um, yeah, it's, it's sharp. I don't need anything more than 2.8. With wide angles for me, I use them for a job. I use them for something like, you know, when I'm in an event, I'm shooting more than one person, uh, you know, so I want more than one person in focus. You know, if they're off plane just a little bit, I can't just keep moving around until they're both on plane. Uh, so, you know, I shoot the stop down a little bit. Um, I shoot it with a flash when I'm in an event. Um, and I love this lens. It, it, and a 35 is too close to the 28. So this kills two birds with one stone. Small, lightweight, and it makes my kit smaller, easier to carry around. And at my age, I want small. Um, the last one, <laughs> um, let, me, let me just show you here. Now this is with the lens hood on, obviously, but it's uh, basically the size of the 28. Uh, but this is my 90 millimeter. Now you wanna talk about a hidden gem in the Leica lineup. Um, this is the 90 millimeter, 90 millimeter macro, okay? It's an F4. It is sharp. Um, not technically a macro until you get the you know macro adapter, and that's what people, people bitch about. Um, but you extend it to use it, and you collapse it when you're done. And it's the tiniest little lens ever. It is sharp. It works fantastic. I don't need anything more than an F4. Again, uh, it's what I need, um, and that makes up my whole kit. Um, if I'm telling you, this is absolutely an incredible lens. Um, I, I'm going to do a studio shoot with it uh, coming up so you can see what it can do. Um, but it's, it's pretty impressive, <laughs> just to say, say the least. So anyway, there are my three lenses that I'm sticking with and, and I'm going to use uh, for the hopefully better side of 10 years. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, I'm happy with them. I, I was... That, that new 35 1.4 kind of piqued my interest, but again, you know, if I'm getting everything I need out of a 28 Elmerit, uh, I'm happy. Uh, so, and again, like a, you know, just holding this camera versus holding other bodies that, I've, that I have and had, um, it's just a different feeling. It's just, you know, because they are handmade, because they are made so beautifully, um, you know, I do love them, and I know it's not for everybody. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to sit around and blast your camera because it has plastic doors or whatever. You know, have respect for what other people choose. Uh, rather than looking at their gear and their lenses that they pick. Remember, this, this may be completely wrong for somebody else. You know, but this is what is right for me, and this is why I chose it. Um, but for you, it may be totally different. It may be three completely different lenses. Um, the Summicrons are spectacular. They're small. They're easy. Um, but this, this took a long, a long while to whittle down, and I'm happy with it. Um, but whatever gear you have, enjoy it, and, and it's okay to get attached to it. Uh, that's how you learn your gear and, and learn its limitations and, and what it could do. So... Anyway, I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. Uh, and thanks for listening as always.